Hello friends, in this video let us understand how to resolve a given force that is making an angle theta with the horizontal. See resolution is nothing but splitting a given force that is making an angle theta with the horizontal into two different into two distinct forces. One acting vertically in the vertical direction, one and one acting in the horizontal direction. You will notice that both this both the forces that we have resolved will be perpendic mutually perpendicular to each other see for example now this one force is acting on this body it is making an angle theta magnitude of the force is f so this vertical component of it will be f sin theta in magnitude and the horizontal component will be f cos theta so what this means is if i instead of this force at this point p this point p if i put this f sin theta and this f cos theta it would actually be the same as the parent force in the direction as well as the magnitude okay now let's see in complicated problems like uh, when when there are many forces uh, acting on a single body we usually find out what is the net force acting in the vertical direction and the net force acting in the horizontal direction see now let us take this some see this let this angle be some 60 one more force this angle be 45 this angle be 60 this angle be some 50 now notice that all the angles should be with respect to the horizontal okay now I'll tell you how we basically use the how what is the convention for every force after resolving like this force making an angle 15 will have two forces one in vertical, one in horizontal. The forces after resolving which go up is positive, which go down is negative. The forces that go towards your right are positive in the horizontal and the forces that go towards left are negative in the horizontal. So now let's get back to this problem. Let this be 10 Newton, 20 Newtons, 30 Newton and 15 newton okay now let's see what are the forces in the vertical so vertical okay so of this force it will be what 10 f of y let me say 10 sine of 45 sine 45 which will be minus c direction is downward okay now this fellow it will be again minus 30 sine of 60 this guy it will be plus because after resolving it will be like this it will come this magnitude will come like this and it will be 20 sine of 60 isn't it so plus 20 sine of 60 this one would be like this in the vertical so plus 50 sine 50 now after solving this i'll get some magnitude i let's say that is some z now to make it stationary in the vertical direction i'll apply a force equal in magnitude that means equal like if the if the resultant comes out to be 12 newtons i'll apply 12 newtons but in opposite direction if this net force is going up then i'll uh, apply 12 newtons in downward direction to get it into stationary state similarly for horizontal f of x if i say then for this it will be going this way like this 10 cos of 45 but positive then minus 30 cos of 60 then this one 
प्लस ट्वेंटी कॉस ऑफ सिक्सटी दिस वन माइनस फिफ्टी कॉस ऑफ फिफ्टी ओके आई अगेन गेट सम मैग्नीट्यूड से वाई से से डी आई टेक दैट मैग्नीट्यूड सेम मैग्नीट्यूड एंड इफ द डायरेक्शन नेट डायरेक्शन इज इन 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 दिस डायरेक्शन देन आई अप्लाई a force equal in magnitude equal to d in this direction so it will be it will come to stationary now going by this method again and again checking like uh, this force is in this direction make an angle theta like this yeah okay it is going upward and then in horizontal you you see that it is going like this okay then negative direction now to make the direction simpler what i would suggest is this is the same same problem same problem 45 10 newton okay so, uh, make an angle 60 make an angle 60 20 newton 60 30 newton T make an angle 50 newton. This, uh, if you go to see, this is behind actually this, but yeah, I have drawn it in front. But that is not the issue. So what to get the direction very quickly? What we'll do is, at every force, we'll directly imagine an imaginary x y uh, integer integer lines. So in integer line, what happens? This is all positive. So all positive this is negative this is negative now see in which quadrant is this force lying if it is lying in the in the fourth quadrant then directly its horizontal component will be positive because here it is all positive in the integer line and here negative so directly its vertical component will be negative similarly for this directly if we uh, do that it is in it is lying in the third quadrant so it's y will be negative y resolution and also uh, sorry its x resolution will be negative that is the horizontal resolution and also the downward vertical resolution will be negative for this force its vertical resolution will be positive but the horizontal resolution will be negative and for this also if i draw an imaginary see this is all positive this is all positive like integer integer line so its resolution in both vertical as well as horizontal both will be positive so there is no need of there is there is no need of thinking for all these signs like uh, going this way that way directly you put it into quadrant solve it you'll get the direction uh, assign the sign do it very quickly i used to do first with this like I used to think uh, like this in all which direction up down and trying to figure out in which direction it is going I, to, I used to take a lot of time but when I started doing like this putting them into quadrants I started solving uh, to uh, the problem which I used to take two hours into just the problem that I used to take two hours in just some 35 to 40 minutes so quick it is this trick is good enough to solve any given any complicated problems like using uh, difficult uh, various theorems like Verigno's theorem etc etc Verigno's theorem and uh, there are many like many mechanics problems for engineering and all there are difficult problems wherein you have to solve a lot we have to resolve a lot many forces are given and there you can't you can't uh, keep on taking a force then seeing what is the direction positive negative you have to directly go for this quadranting okay so this is lying in the first quadrant both will be positive so directly you can write like so both will be positive you don't have to even think this this was like this was 20 newtons so it is 20 sine of 60 directly and then right for this force will what it will be what it is lying in the fourth quadrant so its vertical component will be negative so directly negative 10 
sin 45 so directly and this is lying in the third quadrant so it will be negative so directly negative 30 sin 60 it is in the second quadrant but it will be this y is positive so this one is positive so plus 50 sin 50 so it's very quick like this and that is how that is the trick to solve a problem faster so thank you